COVID crisis has impacted so many industries this year as the virus forced businesses across the country to close their doors. We're six months into this pandemic and what we're seeing is that it's really something that's unprecedented. Despite the challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, TESDA-11 has doubled its efforts to strengthen partnerships in both the public and private sectors, most especially in bringing the Tibet ecosystem through the enterprise-based training programs. That's the Region 11 were able to establish partnerships in different priority sectors including the agro-industrial, construction, and agri-fishery sector. While other ASEAN countries have adopted Agriculture 4.0, agriculture remains to be the least digitized sector in the Philippines. During the TESDA 11 Initiated Agribusiness Committee meeting of the Davao City Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated on December 22, 2020, Mr. Stephen Antig, the Executive Director of the Filipino Banana Growers and Exporters Association, highlighted that the banana industry needs spray plane pilots as current pilots are getting old. Unfortunately, there are only few applicants for this position due to the expensive tuition fees, few training facilities, and rigorous requirements on securing a license. On January 6, 2021, Ms. Jennifer Joy C. Subang, Vice President for Operations of Agridome Solutions Corp., discussed a partnership with TESDA in bringing the agricultural technology to the Philippines and equipping our workers on this smart technology shift. Agridome Solutions Corp. provides the most efficient and effective way of agricultural spraying to fertilize, control pests and diseases to various crops such as banana, mango, rice and corn using the UAV drone spraying technology. It has already sprayed over a thousand hectares of farms in different places of the country since 2019 and still growing. Agridome Solutions Corp. is now preparing its registration documents under TESDA on agricultural drone operation and agricultural drone servicing and maintenance. These courses are to be offered through the DJI Academy, which will be the first drone academy in the Philippines. Malaysia, Japan, and Vietnam are some of the countries that are now using the agricultural drone spraying and are offering courses in UAS pilot training, UAS inspection, and aerial photography among others. To observe the actual drone operations and services conducted by Agridome Solutions Corp, TESDA 11 visited a banana plantation in Barangay Tamayong, Kalinan, Davao City in February 5, 2021. TESDA Planning Office and TESDA Qualifications and Standards Office has coordinated with the TESDA 11 and Agridome Solutions Corp for the development of competency standards based in the regulations, guidelines, and value chain process of the industry. Three trainers from Agridome Solutions Corp are currently attending the Trainers Methodology Level 1 training facilitated by the Regional Training Center, Korea Philippines Vocational Training Center. Simultaneously, Agridome Solutions Corp. is currently preparing their program registration documents under the No Training Regulation. With the technical assistance provided by Test the Central Office towards the development of competency standards, Agridome Solutions Corp. shall be ushered to conduct training programs that are duly authorized by the government. The agro-industrial programs are set to be offered by March 2021. Test 11 aims that this partnership may encourage Filipinos, most especially the youth, to engage in smart farming in order to address food security and sustainable food production.
one of the leading construction companies in Mindanao that specializes in high-rise vertical buildings and other prestigious construction projects, is Carwheel Construction Incorporated. In December 2020, TESDA Secretary Isidro S. La Peña, along with TESDA 11 Regional Director Engineer Lorenzo G. Macapili, had a meeting with Mr. Willie T. Ho, President of Carwheel Construction Incorporated. As per Mr. Ho, around 50 to 70 high-rise buildings are to be constructed in the next five years. And one of the challenges brought by the growth of the construction industry is the scarcity of skilled workforce. The construction industry seriously needs more competent skilled workers as several construction workers are going abroad and some are pirated by other construction companies. Also, several construction workers are needed to be trained to meet the skills required by the industries. With their goal to produce globally competitive construction professionals, Carwheel Construction Incorporated will register construction-related programs with existing training regulations and those no training regulations as well. To kick it off, the company will register first the following programs. Heavy Equipment Operations Bulldozer NC2 Heavy Equipment Operations Motor Grader NC2 Heavy Equipment Operation Hydraulic Excavator NC2 and Tile Setting NC2 under the enterprise-based training programs. It will register soon other programs that are already in the pipeline when the first five programs are already issued with Certificate of Tivet Program Registration or CTPR. TESDA 11 will provide technical assistance to Carwheel Construction Incorporated in the registration of these programs that will help address the shortage of competent construction workers. Five trainers from Carwheel Construction Incorporated are currently attending the Trainers Methodology Level 1 training facilitated by the Regional Training Center Korea Philippines Vocational Training Center. Simultaneously, Carwheel Construction Incorporated is currently preparing their program registration documents. The training on construction-related programs are set to be offered by March 2021. TESDA 11 aims that this partnership will provide employment opportunities in the construction sector in the region with the end purpose of improving the skills, competence, and income of Dabawenos and the Filipinos as a whole. In December 2020, TESDA Secretary Isidro S. La Peña alongside with TESDA 11 Regional Director Engineer Lorenzo G. Macapili had a meeting with Mr. Domingo Ang, President of Davao Marina Tuna Corporation, the popular Marina Tuna chain of restaurants ventured into high-value marine products, to discuss several concerns on the agri-fishery sector. The Davao Fishport Complex, as a transshipment port, has catered different foreign fishing vessels such as Taiwan, China, and Japan for the past 25 years. Regretfully, transshipment business faded away from the past decade and becoming much severe until recently due to the general situation. Some known reasons behind the declining economy are climate change, high fuel costs internationally, limited fishing grounds, and most of all, the scarcity of human resource on the boat. The establishment of a training center to provide skills training services to would-be fishermen and other occupations is needed by the fishing industry. On December 23, 2020, R.D. Makapili paid a visit to the Davao Regional Fish Port under the Philippine Fisheries Development Authority. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or BFAR 11 Regional Director Raul C. Miliana and Port Manager Engineer Albert P. Aguinaldo discussed several strategies on optimizing the resources of BFAR 11 and the DRFP 11 in terms of training provisions on fishery-related programs and value chain practices of the fishery industry. On January 15, 2021, TESDA 11 was invited by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or BFAR 11 headed by BFAR 11 Regional Director Raul C. Miliana 
at the B411 Regional Office along with Mr. Domingo Ang, President of Davao Marina Tuna Corporation. R.D. Makapili explained the process of program registration, the training regulations in fish capture NC1 and NC2, and fish port wharf NC2, as well as the development process of competency standards for other qualifications without TRC yet. As a result of several collaboration meetings, B411 will register programs in aquaculture NC2, fish capture NC1 and NC2, and Fish Port Wharf Operations NC2. Nine trainers from B411 are currently attending an online trainers methodology level 1 training facilitated by Davao Oriental Polytechnic Institute or DOPI. Simultaneously, B411 is currently preparing their program registration documents. On February 17 and 19, 2021, as the 11 conducted an ocular inspection to the facilities of B411. Ang station po na ito ay may kabuang lawak na 5.4 hectares na binubuo ng mga feeding pans. Sa dito, mga feeding pans natin po, mga conditioning pans and nursery pans para sa pag uh, pagbid po ng ating freshwater tilapia and or tilapia for brackish water. In behalf of BIPAR 11, I would like to express my gratitude for this opportunity to partner with TISDA 11 to upskill and capacitate our stakeholders, not just the fishing folk, in order to harmonize the activities related to fisheries and elevate it to a more competitive level. BIPAR 11 intends to register its training program among others, enterprise-based programs, in order to give opportunities and provide sustainable peace production. This is a pioneer venture between BIPAR 11 and TISDA 11, and it is my hope that it will set the standard for the level of future trainings. Much still needs to be done, but with valuable support from our partner TISDA, we are confident that we can achieve more for the benefit of our stakeholders. To strengthen the implementation of enterprise-based training programs in the region, TESDA 11 will establish within the month of March 2021 the Industry Board with Subsector Industry Councils for Agro-Industrial, Fishery, and Construction Sectors. In coordination with the QSO, TESDA 11 will also develop more competency standards on the identified value chain of agri-fishery sector and allied services supportive of the agro-industrial and construction sectors from the second quarter of 2021 and onwards. TESDA 11 will also strengthen the collaboration with partners and stakeholders and conduct training programs registered under TESDA along the sectors through scholarship provisions and expand training and assessment infrastructure for Region 11 through accreditation of more trainers, assessors, and assessment centers and registration of more programs. As it has always been, PESDA 11 will continue to establish and strengthen partnerships in order to provide technical education and skills development opportunities in Region 11. At dahil sa PESDA, Region 11 ay abot lahat. <music>